Rain. Rain. Thunder. Heavy rain. 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 Thunder. Rain. Oh, thunder. Mental. Heavy rain. Thunder. Thunder. Soaking. Nicht ganz Rain. Thunder. Escape. Sunshine. Morning folks, it's been a long morning for me already, I've just had a nice big two and a half hour drive up here uh, from the central belt, oh, knackering. Anyway, today I'm in Glen Esk and Glen Mark and the plan today is to head up Mount Keen, a 939 metre piece of granite just outside Aberdeen. The reason I chose Mount Keen today was because over in the west, there's, the weather's horrific, it's absolutely horrendous. Loads of rain, I think there's thunder forecasts for later on as well. So, we're heading east in a bid to try and escape the worst of the weather. We'll see how that goes. It's looking not too bad so far. It's a little bit overcast, but pretty warm still, so it should be a nice little walk, I reckon. It's a lovely place, Glen Esk. There's a few little sights we've got to see along here. We've got um, the Queen's Well, looking forward to seeing that. It's a little uh, structure built over a, a spring that Queen Victoria is said to have visited. Yeah, so that should be quite interesting. So yeah, looking forward to this one. It's good to get back out again after a month or so of being stuck in house because of the weather. So yeah, let's get to the top. Mount Keen, also known in Gaelic as Mona Coon. The weather in the west was forecast to be particularly grim on the day, so bagging the most easterly Munro seemed to be the best plan. The walk began at a large car park at Invermark, where Glen Esk and Glenmark meet. Close to the car park is Invermark Castle, built in the 16th century. Just slightly off the route to the hill, it's worth a quick visit. After crossing the water of Mark, we picked up the path and started the long walk along Glenmark. Soon after joining the path along the river, we came across some beautiful patches of Scots pine. It wasn't long until we reached the Queen's Well, a picturesque little piece of engineering built over the top of a natural spring. It was built in 1861 to commemorate Queen Victoria visiting the area. She is said to have stopped here for a drink on her way back to Balmoral with her husband, Prince Albert. I wouldn't want to take a sip from the well nowadays though, but local wildlife, including these couple of rascals, like to use it as their own personal porta potty. It wasn't long before the blood sucking midges tracked us down and with the insect repellent failing to protect us, we quickly headed onwards along the track. There was a small ford to cross, with the help of a rickety looking metal grid. Fortunately, it held up, and we made it across the other side to begin the ascent of the mountain. We soon encountered what would turn out to be the steepest incline of the day, winding its way up the hillside next to the ladder burn. The higher we got, the more the clouds began clinging to the ground. Small cairns started to emerge from the mists to guide our way. <sighs> Slowly but surely getting there. It's not been too bad this hill, there's been one little steep bit so far. Yeah, you come up next to a little river and um, there's a wee steep bit there, but the only problem now is though, all the views have gone. Again, the clag has caught me again. I think it must follow me around. It's good that we're getting up a bit higher now. There's a little bit of a breeze. Down there, the midges were absolutely crazy. There's so many of them. 
got the insect repellent and stuff on but I think they just laughed at that came straight through it anyway, still getting me anyway, not too long to go now it's getting a bit shallower now um, there's a little steep bit just before the end, it doesn't look too steep though and then hopefully we'll make it to the summit of Mount Keen once you get to this bit, that there is the Mount Road you want to take the right hand route uh, to the summit of Mount Keen just in case you go wrong because that's like something I'd usually do way around there, end up in a glen somewhere else bad times the right hand route Let's go. The paths around Mount Keen are well maintained and are popular amongst mountain bikers and the occasional horse rider. The heathery slopes eventually gave way to more rocky terrain and before we knew it, we had reached the summit. Finally made it. After months of being in the house, we finally did an arm and row. As you can see, the weather isn't the best up here today, but Still really glad we did it, and it's good to get another one ticked off. I think it must be quite a popular hill this one because there's uh, quite a bit of rubbish we saw on the way up there. Lots of plastic bottles and orange peels and everything lying everywhere. Not the nicest to be honest. Um, there's a good path though, that's the, the one upside of it being popular. Yeah, if you're looking for a bit of seclusion it might not be the hill for you on a sunny day because I reckon it'll get pretty busy here. The combination of the wind and the rain started to nip away at the tips of our fingers. So we started the long walk back down Glenmark to Glen Esk. Well, this is almost back down to the car now, almost back to the head of Glen Esk. The weather today has been a bit miserable to be honest, but it's good to actually get back out again after about a month or so of being in the house. I think the moral of the story today is that um, even if the weather forecast isn't the greatest, just get out and about anyway, because it's still good fun. It's still good to get out in the, in the great outdoors. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching and I'll hopefully see you all next time. Bye.